Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to, to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'll be reading to you what I wrote in my personal statement and I hope this video will help you in preparing for your future application for the Global Career Scholarship. But before we continue with this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. If you're new to my channel, you know, in my previous video, I already shared my preparation for the Global Career Scholarship Program and then I also shared a video about my university interview during my application. So I hope you watch that video as well and share to other people. Yes, in your um, application for the GKS program, one important requirement is the essay, your personal statement and then your study plan. And luckily, with those essays, the NIIED provided guide questions for you to answer and just focus your answers on those guide questions that they provided. So yes, I'll be sharing to you my personal statement, what I have written in, in my personal statement that I have included in my application. Since NIIED already provided guide questions, I just wrote what they needed to know about me and I just answered all the guide questions that was written there. Alright, my essay is not a perfect essay but I just want to share it to you so that you will have a background or idea on what to wrote on um, the personal statement for your future application. So are you ready? Let's start. This is the first guide questions that the NIIED provided. First is motivation with which you apply for this program. So what I wrote in here is... This program encouraged me to have a better knowledge, quality of education, and learn more about South Korea's culture. The progressive educational standards of Korea have impressed me the most ever since I caught sense and realized the significance of high-quality education. The fast-growing economy, technological advancement, and the global ranking educational institutes with the high reputation of South Korea makes a great aspiration for me to have a better career pers perspective. I believe that studying in Korea will help me improve my knowledge in my chosen career. I also believe that this university is fortunate to have employed extremely distinguished faculty members who can discover the best talent and opportunity to learn new things and meet new people from other parts of the world. Additionally, students who have studied abroad are very successful, not just in finding jobs but in securing their future as well. I believe that this program will help me experience new things improve my abilities and will train and equip me to have a broader perspective academically all right so that is basically what i wrote in um the first guide questions that the NIED asked like my motivation with which i applied for this program so i just wrote there why korea has the best educational system why I chose Korea basically and why I chose this program in this university what was my reason yes if you were to write your essay especially in this part do not just focus about k-drama k-pop fashion NIED wants you to write something about your academic plans academic achievements or what did Korea do for you to be motivated to apply for this program? So that's basically what I wrote in the first guide questions that um, the NIAED provided. Alright, so the next guide question was family and education background. So this is what I wrote. Differently, I have four siblings and all of them are girls. I was the fourth in the number. My dad is a security guard and my mom is a housewife. My family struggled a lot financially, so since my family can't afford to send me to a reputable university, I pursued my studies as a working student at my university. There, 
I was disclosed a broad category of courses. Since I have a keen interest in food, I enrolled in the course Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics with a significant focus on clinical nutrition, food science and technology, and um, public health nutrition. I engaged myself in a research project, lectures, and experiments on food science, like canning and preservation, food technology, and food service systems, as well as nutrition care process and medical nutrition therapy. To support my studies and daily finances, I worked as a laboratory preparation assistant at the chemistry department. There, I was able to handle chemical preparations and experiments. In my undergraduate years, my classmates and I were able to write a thesis about product development. We formulated a nutrient-dense and plant-based cupcake using local ingredients that can provide adequate carbohydrate, protein, and fats, vitamins, and minerals, and is acceptable to the general population. We had a thorough study about the chemistry of the ingredients, analyzed their chemical properties, and chose the best packaging and label. Additionally, we were also able to observe its shelf life using subjective analysis and conduct a sensory evaluation among young adults in terms of taste, color, texture, and odor. The whole study was a success and we were praised by our thesis advisor. With the help of our thesis advisor, we had our paper presented in conferences and published twice. First, during the 6th International Scores Conference in 2018 and was published in my university research journal. Second was during the 41st Annual Scientific Meeting of the National Academy of Science and Technology in 2019 and was published in the NAS 41st Scientific Journal. So as you can see here, I just briefly explained um, my family background and focus on writing about my educational background, my educational achievement, and what I have experienced during my undergraduate degrees. So I just focus a lot about my exposure in food science since I'm applying for a food science major. So I focus everything that um, can help me with my essay, everything on food science, every exposure that I had about food science and technology and I also wrote there about my financial status like enrolling as a working student to support my my daily expenses and yes everything that I can share about my undergraduate degrees that is related to the major I am applying to I wrote it here. for the last three guide questions I just sum it up in two paragraphs so I'll read the guide questions. The first one, I mean the third one is your significant experiences you have had, risk you have taken, and achievements you have made, persons or events that have had a significant influence on you. That's the third guide questions. The fourth one is your extracurricular activities such as club activities, community service activities, or work experiences and the last guide question is if applicable describe awards you have received publications you have made or skills you have acquired and etc for the last guide questions like all the publications i already discussed it um, together with my educational background since my published works are related to my undergraduate degree so here's the last part of my personal statement. In my last semester as an undergraduate, I was fortunate to work as a supervisor in the food service department in our university. There, I was able to handle finances, plan the menu, and control the stocks and deliveries, and make sure to apply HACCP for food safety. Moreover, I also experienced being a clinical dietitian in the hospital. I provide health consultations and imparted them knowledge on proper food choices through nutrition care process and medical nutrition therapy. Then, after graduation, I was blessed to earn my last license as a nutritionist dietitian in 2019. So as you can see here, I've shared my 
internships, my experience, my hands-on experience related to my major. So I know it can also help since the guide questions ask you your work experiences or any experiences related to your major. So in the third and fourth guide questions, they ask about your extra curricular activities and persons or events that have made a significant influence on you. So this is what I wrote. Being a working student was the most promising experience I had. I went through a lot of struggles and hardships. There was a time in the, my university days where I only ate one meal a day. So sad because my allowance was not enough. I also experienced borrowing money to buy my books and school uniforms. Seven years in college was tough, but good thing was I have my family, friends, and advisors who supported me when I was rock bottom. They were the people who had a great help during my tough days. For the last part of my essay or the conclusion, this is where I wrote my extracurricular activities. So here is what I wrote. As aforementioned, my university days was tough but it was made awesome because of the volunteering activities I had. I was privileged to participate in volunteering or community work with the Korean Filipino children <clears throat> excuse me with the Korean Filipino children in a cultural exchange program led by the students from Samuel Cal University. So they were students from Korea. These experiences urged me to learn the basics of the Korean language like reading and writing Hangul. Moreover, I worked as an English teacher at the SDA Language Center, a Korean company based in the Philippines. There, I was able to work with Korean superiors and students. I strongly believe these experiences will be of good help to me in adjusting to Korean culture. So that's basically what I wrote in my essay. Everything I need to squeeze in one page. And it's very difficult. I had so much editing in this. It's like I edited it 100 times, I think, so that it can be perfect, not just with the grammar, but the, the content itself. All right, guys, so I hope this video helps you in your future plans and your future application for the GKS program. And like what I've said, my essay is not perfect, but I want to help you get an idea on what to write on your essay so i hope this video helps you a lot and of course please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and of course share this video to other people whom you know will apply to this scholarship as well goodbye